Today, as part of a legal tradition, students on the campus of Drake University listened in on two cases, including Becker's. KIMT News 3's Jenna Lee is back from the hearing and joins us in the newsroom. And Jenna, what are students learning from this case? From the courtroom to the classroom, Amy, 700 students are learning the law of the land. Throughout the 45-minute proceeding, Becker's attorney first argued that the trial judge failed to instruct jurors. The consequences of a not guilty verdict by reason of insanity, meaning he wouldn't have been released from custody. She claimed it violated Becker's due process rights under the Iowa Constitution. Lawyers on behalf of the state responded, citing the judge's instructions were in line with past cases, requesting the district court's decision be affirmed. But before that, justices were allowed to discuss and question the attorneys. The marshaling instruction where you have to A, B, and C should have the language as requested, and this mental capacity or explanation language should be in a, another instruction. I mean, it, it seems like it's backwards here. Throughout it, students watched and listened. Emily Harper found the experience to be incredibly valuable as a second year law student. At first when I heard the defense attorney talk, it was a, kind of a hot bench, so they kind of asked her a lot of questions, but they did the same to the I think uh, state of Iowa's attorney as well, so I think it was a pretty even case. And tonight at 6, we'll hear from Son of Slain coach Aaron Thomas. Amy? Jenna, how is the Thomas family coping? Well, the effects of this high-profile murder case are still being felt. Both the Becker and Thomas families were in attendance, calling it a difficult and emotional day. For the Beckers, the gnawing pain of their son's actions on June 24, 2009 returned. On that morning, Mark gunned down his former coach inside the AP school's makeshift weight room. For the Thomases, an innocent life was stripped from them forever, and today served as a raw reminder. And it's a tough day anytime you talk about this, the uncertainty of, of what may come about. It, it's not an easy thing to sit and listen, or now you just speculate. But, uh, you know, all in all, through all this, I think it's a family, a close family, and uh, we'll continue to move forward. Aaron went on to say that he hopes the Supreme Court will uphold the Iowa District Court of Appeals decision. An Iowa murder that once made national news returns to the spotlight. Parkersburg, Iowa is in shock this morning after its enormously popular high school football coach was suddenly gunned down. And nearly three years later, the man responsible for killing Applington Parkersburg football coach Ed Thomas is appealing his murder conviction to the state Supreme Court. Mark Becker believes he should have a new trial, claiming that the judge improperly instructed the jury on elements of the insanity defense, as well as the consequences of a not guilty by reason of insanity verdict. But what does that really mean? Local lawyer Joel Unick explains. Citizens have a far more visceral reaction to the thing. I mean, they, they think, well, this isn't right that the, the guy goes free. And nothing could be further from the truth that, again, this is not a, a get out of jail free uh, uh, card in insanity defense. It just means confinement in a different kind of facility, one for criminally insane people rather than just criminal people. And today's oral arguments were heard on the campus of Drake University. The very public setting triggers all kinds of personal emotions. KIMG News 3's Jenna Lee was there and has this report. Uncertainty of, of what may come about. It. It's not an easy thing to sit and listen or now you just speculate. Fred Thomas's son, Aaron. You first have to make the state prove all the elements. This Supreme Court hearing holds more weight than what's on paper. To the convicted murderer, a paranoid schizophrenic, reality remains in play. Mark will always be contained. He will never, he, number one, he can't cope in our society with the illness that he has. And number two, he does need to be contained. We recognize that. Mark recognizes that. At issue, though, is his insanity defense. Lack of sufficient mental capacity is a... Uh, easier thing to get one's head around than diseased or deranged condition of the mind. During the trial, medical experts on both sides claimed he was and wasn't insane during the shooting death of Applington Parkersburg football coach Ed Thomas, and how jurors responded is still in question. What the jury wants to know is, is this man going to be released into our community? That's what they wanted to know. Becker's attorney argues that the trial judge failed to instruct jurors the consequences of a not guilty verdict by reason of insanity, meaning he wouldn't have been released from custody. She claimed it violated Becker's due process rights under the Iowa Constitution. Because it makes it very difficult for jurors to, to sit on a case like our son's case was and to be able to say not guilty. 
because not guilty but insane is a very difficult thing for a juror to come to terms with, and I don't blame them for that. You wouldn't be the party complaining. Lawyers on behalf of the state responded, the citing the judge's instructions the were in line with past cases, two, requesting the district court's decision be affirmed. And the Thomas family agrees. That this is it, and they uphold the decisions, and we can move forward and you know, hopefully get off the rest of our lives. Whether a new trial is granted or denied now rests in the hands of the Supreme Court. In Des Moines, Jenna Lee, KIMT News 3.